County Courthouse Rehabilitation Project, which is a guaranteed maximum price. Again, Mr. McLeod. Yes, sir. Staff, uh, the architect, which is Gladwin Bond, and the construction manager, which is Coffin Construct. I mean, uh, Allstate Construction with Coffin Construction, the joint venture, have been working since the demo work has been complete to come up with a GMP for the project. Uh, the construction manager started started accepting bids in March of this year, and then we everybody started compiling the data. And we've had several meetings. The, G, uh, the GMP from Allstate and Coffin Construction joint venture is $9,855,808.85. And this includes the early demo calls that was approved in September of 2021. This is the total full price. So, Chad, we're at right now. It's been a while since the commissioners were over there. Um, all the demo is 100% complete. Can, can you kind of give us an update on sure. where they're at right now? So in our early demo package, uh, there was a certain amount of demo that was to be complete. There is still some other demo that will be uh, required, which is structural demo. Uh, but we weren't going to do that until we got into construction. But, uh, for the most part, all the demo work is complete. All the walls that need to come down have came down. All the uh, work that needs to be so, so the architect can see everything she needed to see to get the plans designed. The ceilings have been removed. All the HVAC mechanical plumbing equipment has been removed. Uh, most of the flooring has been removed. The temporary flooring has been removed. Uh, the basement is basically bare except for structural walls. So that had to be done, as you said, before Ms. Gladwin and her team could, could get the final plans drawn. That's so right. They got that done now that it's been out, been put out to bid and we've got to get it back in the That is correct. So they are ready to move forward with actual construction, and which is why we're presenting the GMP. Uh, the plans are 100% complete. They have been uh, ran through the plan review process and ready for permit. So they're prepared to start immediately? Yes, like, sir. Like weeks or months? Yes sir. yes, sir. They're prepared to move a superintendent on site. Any questions? I noticed the, um, the contract manager made like just over 500000 We got roughly $1.1 million. Yes, in the management side. How much did we spend for the architect? I'll, I can get you that information. I don't know, know it off the top of my head, but I'll be glad to get you I'm that information. I was just thinking out loud how much we had actually allocated on the splash board and just, you know, the remaining amount that might be left over that we might use up as well. That was included in our original estimates um, because she's on a percentage of construction, right? That is correct. So everything in this state is included. Everything to the Yes, sir. It does not include the architect, no, sir. It, not it, it includes everything to do with construction and uh, the pre-construction work that we completed right. since last September. And at the end of the That's correct. That's correct. And uh, typically, I mean, we carry typically with a construction management contract, we see a savings at the end of the project uh, with the GMP. Uh, this is worst case scenario on the GMP, and everything is detailed out with every invoice. We see every invoice that comes from every subcontractor, and there's no way, you know, if there's any savings at the end, that comes back to the county. One other thing, Paige, I just wanted to stay, thank uh, Robin and, and, and Public Works for working with Farm Days vendors uh, during this process, uh, and I just want to make sure they're still going to be good on the sidewalks. Throughout this process. So there will be a fence that goes up around the perimeter of the project because once you all approve moving forward, then that site will actually belong to the contractor until the final punch list is completed and, and engineering is satisfied and they turn it back over to the county. So we do have some concerns. Um, we have spoken with the city representatives that have hosted farm days in the past. You really need more than the width of just that sidewalk. 
Um, so we have encouraged them to explore another location. We've offered our parking lot here that's closest to the corner. Um, the, the county's property ends where the fence will begin. So that sidewalk does belong to the city if they would like to continue that on the sidewalk. Um, but I'm not sure that they're going to be able to enjoy the atmosphere of the event that they have in the past because they're going to be backing up to that fence. And there's really nothing we can do about that because that entire site's got to be closed off for the contract. Contractor. So we will, um, we, we hope that that will work out and I would encourage them to, to use our parking lot. There's more space there. Um, it's still in the same vicinity as far as the walkability downtown, but we'll give those vendors as well as their customers more room to safely move around. Um, and looking at the uh, proposal, I, I see, I believe it's May of 2023, that we set punch list and everything. That's correct. We, the uh, contractor said, you know, roughly one year. So June 1st, they're expecting to be totally complete with a May 1st substantial completion. Thanks. Okay. Um, next would be 